Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read. To see what your energy is, please do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me. Got my six, I'm gonna have my back because I have yours. Okay, I'm laughing because I just tried to do my spiel and forgot what green hearts mean. All right, you guys, I gotta get it back together. So there you have it. Um, I am going to pull from the Intuit Tarot deck to see where your energy is. Look at that. The card that comes out is the Empress. The Empress in the reverse, though. It says feminine power, insecure, block, in, block creativity. Pay attention to your body, uh, dependence, and negligence. So there you have it, the Empress in the reverse. The Empress in the reverse can also mean um, that, you know, something isn't, the way it needs to be it needs to be you know um you depending on other people instead of depending on yourself if that makes sense um the page of wands is here we have at the bottom of the deck the vernal equinox the vernal equinox is time in a few days it's time act now fresh start awakening and spring so spring is almost sprung um so it's almost here but we have again the empress in the reverse we have the chariot in the reverse blocked obstacles it says lack of direction coercion, uh, forcefulness, powerlessness, and facing oppositions. We have unsure energy of the Queen of Wands. This came out, uh, the Queen of Wands is in my last read, I think, as unsure. Or was it the read before? My eye, it's so bad. Um, and then we have the temperance in the reverse. Okay, what's going on? The temperance in the reverse, well, we got the page of wands in the upright. So the temperance in the reverse is the lack of perspective. So somebody is unsure and not confident enough, but in the spring, things are going to change. Tables are going to turn, and it's going to be some type of exciting plans that's going to happen. It's going to be a lot of good news because in the past, the way you felt, you had to get out of there. It was a lot of blocked obstacles and a lack of perspective. So that meant you were very impatient. There was imbalance, and there was somebody antagonizing you or feeling like self-indulgence or something like that. But when it comes to you having um, a playful and childlike free-thinking uh, state of mind, that is going to be a good thing for the spring. You're having an awakening or a fresh start. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull from the heart's hidden secrets to see what comes out, what was hidden, and what was the issue when it came to what you were going through, if that makes sense. Because, yeah, all of the cards being in the reverse. Okay, so this is the third time in my readings. And today, I, this is my third reading right here, that the foundation card came out. Last time it was your, yeah, this is in regards to your loyalty. Last time it was the foundation and I can't think of the other card that came out. But check my last two reads out. One was called Rekindle and the other one was called Your Soulmate. It's right right after another. So the foundation is here. Uh, this is you establishing a foundation. There was uh, you holding on to the uh, memories and dwelling on past energies, right? But again, you left that behind you. It says leave behind closure and fare, uh, farewell. And then it says one day, someday, somewhere, and another time. And another time, your loyalty will be uh, not put, will not be put to the test and not be treated. You won't be treated this way to where you feel like you don't have any confidence within yourself. And what you're going to do now, you're building for uh, the future. And you are reflecting on why you had to move forward and set boundaries and, um, it was based upon the memories. And one day, things might be, you know, good for you. So if the rekindle read wasn't for you and the soulmate read wasn't for you, both of those reads, you had to make a choice. You had to make a choice, but your loyalty was too pure for this type of energy that you were around, if that makes sense. So now you're looking at things and realizing why you had to set boundaries and move forward. So now I'm going to pull from the karmic twin flame and soulmate energy because, again, this, that that was the energy that you were dealing with to see what type of in, type of relationship or situationship this was that you had to leave behind and have you know and and one of the reasons the rekindling it was like if you did not rekindle the flame what you did was you had to they wanted to speak their mind and that was you getting closure for the situation but to all that may not you know be the be what you're going to get but at some point you had to make a decision on what it was that you needed to do, but you walking away was best for you, divine timing. Yeah, you had to trust in divine timing. So maybe in the spring, 
uh, a romantic offer will come. If it's not from this person, it might be from someone else, but you're building in regards to uh, establishing a foundation and um, having security. Um, but the past, you had to get through the past and understand from the past in order for you to build for the future and realize that your loyalty is nothing wrong with, with you being loyal and believing in love the way you do or believing in having a family. But the romantic offer, it says, expect a romantic gesture that could be could surprise you, uh, perhaps an engagement or taking things to the next level. Celebrate the union. And then it says divine timing. Behind every twin flame journey, there is a divine plan and a divine time for accomplishing it. Don't focus on when, but how you can learn from this. So this is you understanding that, you know, again, being a hopeless romantic and your loyalty, that family foundation and security is out there, but you have to have some, you have to kiss a couple of frogs in order to be able to move forward to really appreciate love, if that makes sense. And so that is kind of where you are with this situation. I'm going to pull, pull from this card deck. I can't remember the name of it and I don't know where the box is. It's somewhere behind me, but Anyway, I'll pull from this. See, the cards keep falling down and flying on the ground. Hold on. Yeah, it was an intense connection. It says the intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and lows. And so, again, trusting in divine timing and being enlightened is, it says, with enlightenment, there is no separation. We recognize that we are one with the divine. So trust in divine timing. And there's no separation, right? It says that no separation. And then there's a bond there. There's a moment. There are signs. And there is something to embrace the intense, the clarity that you have to have in the spiritual. This came out in one of my reads, my last reads, but it was in the reverse. So your spiritual journey is beginning. And what I said is that this person is going through their spiritual journey. Yours might be get beginning or, excuse me, it might have began. Is that a word? Began. It might have begun. You're supposed to say begun, not began like the can. <laughs> but it might not, might have, <laughs> I'm sorry. It might have begun a while ago, but that took for you to understand why you had to trust in the divine and go from there. But the clarity is there. It says, take time to think about your situation to gain, gain clarity. And then it says, um, a bond, a love bond grows stronger over time and the moment. Think of a special moment that bought you much joy with your partner and signs watch out for the signs leading to to leading you to true love and embrace embrace that embrace what destiny has in store for you and it's an intense connection right so it says the intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and lows so that is what you have to this is a test this is either you kissing frogs or you're learning from the frogs and you're understanding that you lost your confidence and all these things in the process of you loving and being too loyal to the situation and you still had to have some type of closure and that closure came in you trusted in divine timing and realizing that one day someday somewhere and another time this will happen and this that was where the soulmate energy was in the last read and also the rekindle and the read before that you had to make these decisions and therefore with this being with this read being here you had to trust in the divine in order to get your your courage and your confidence back in order for you to have anything whether it be with a new person a new offer and understanding where your loyalty lies it comes with boundaries and a foundation so that's kind of how I see that energy if that makes sense so I'm going to go ahead and pull from doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm going to pull from the I'm trying to see what card deck oh yeah I'll pull from the finance deck to see what you've been working on because Again, you know, when we get into our emotional bag, I'm, I'm going to pull from the evolution of the soul deck too. But when we get into our emotional bag, we start working hard on our finances and the things that we left uh, on hold. We paused when we were in love and going through the process and the journey. And so that is kind of how I see that. So the evolution of the soul comes out. Answers are within. Yeah, so it all starts with you. All of this lack of confidence and lack of faith uh, yeah, it says prison, jail time, illegal activities, helping criminals change. All right, maybe you dealt with a street pharmacist or something of the sort. Uh, test, test it to conquer your, your demons. And so maybe that's what it is. This person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson. Remember, no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, no man is your enemy. Excuse me, every man is your teacher. Let me say it over again. 
No man is your friend. No man is your enemy. Every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson that the answers don't come from love and the foundations don't come from, um, excuse me, it don't come from another individual. It comes from you building your foundation and you setting that precedence of what it is that you want and also, uh, you know, having boundaries and understanding that there is going to be soulmate, twin flame, all type of situationships, frogs, and lessons that, that need to be learned. But you have to know where your loyalty lies and that your loyalty should lie with yourself and not just with a person. And the answers are within. It's not from another person or trust in the divine. Connecting to your higher self, strengthening your intuition, letting your intuition guide you. So making these decisions to move away, walk, walk away. See, same thing. Everybody, this reminds me of the movie Stand By Me, but everybody is on the train tracks. So the foundation... See, this is, this is when you decided to walk away before the kids got involved, right? But if you did get involved with the kids and they're grown up now, then you're walking away doing something different and going from there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the um, – hold on, my son brought me a soda. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the uh, Maruk X finance deck to see what comes out. But uh, let me get my soda first. Hold on one second. Okay, that was strong. Cool, it was a good one. This is Dr. Pepper. You know how you get a soda. Well, I haven't, I haven't been drinking a lot of sodas. Well, yesterday I had one, but I haven't been drinking a lot of sodas, and sometimes you just need a soda to just burp. Oh, well, sorry. Anyway, this is the finance deck. So, again, you had to walk away before things got too deep. Yeah, work smart. Uh, before it got too deep, work smarter, not harder. And, yeah work hard and silent. So this is about you building a foundation and you understanding the difference between your loyalty, why you have to walk away from the negativity and you, the lack, the doubt, and not having a bond, the bond that you want, that's going to build that find foundation um, because you kept reminiscing on the bit of street, sweet, sweet memories. And so the answers are within. Again, I'll say it again. Connecting to your higher self, strengthening your intuition, letting your intuition guide you, and work smart. It says... Are you making it harder than it has to be? Yeah. Sometimes the so solutions are that simple. Perhaps it's time to clean house personal personally and professionally to start with a clean palette. Stick to basic needs when it comes to spending and put some money aside. So that's what you started to work on. Because remember, either we're going to start taking things personally and end up in trouble, or we're going to be helping out people in codependent energies and this is says again um helping criminals change <laughs> and they don't have to be criminals it could be somebody with that had childhood trauma or somebody that you fell in love with that you were loyal to that was a dog woo -woo. but you were being put to the test and it was you being put to the test to conquer your demons but in the process of that you start lacking the emotional stability that you had in the beginning so now it's time to work smarter, not harder, right? And work hard in silence. So working hard in silence is shutting off everything and going into hermit mode, if that makes sense. I'm just saying. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you because you know when you know you know and you know that, you know, uh, I'm, I'm trying to sing Drake's song. I'm a dog. I'm a wee baby. Y'all know that song? I don't know. Anyway. And it go doom, 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 doom. Anyway, so when it comes to the crystal deck and the four agreements, you guys, in order to master the fifth agreement, you got to master one through four. And so I put um on the in the links above, I'll put the four agreements and my perspective on how they how I see them, and then also I'll put the chakra information up here at the top. You can click the link. Let me pick up this card. Yep, it's about manifestation, but be impeccable with your words. Say what you want, mean what you say. The last couple of readings were you actually getting closure, um, which is here, uh, in regards to somebody wanting to speak their mind because they realized they screwed up and you removed your energy and how loyal you really were. Be impeccable with your words. Manifest your true intentions. It says, regardless of what language you speak, your intent will manifest through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through word and so the answers come within but it's, it caused with it comes with the confidence that you speak and the the words that you say so the emerald is your heart chakra the way that you love too 
prosperity, healing, and hope. Send in strength and healing, period. I focus on prosperity and the universe provides me abundance. I focus on prosperity and the universe provides me abundance. And then we have the Iolite, which is the third eye, throat, and crown chakra. Connection, awareness, and intuition. It says, I trust my own actions. Again, the answers are within. And also, you have to trust in divine, but it starts with you first. And that is where we are. And you're going to work hard in silence and be able to move forward and unblock a lot of these obstacles that you have uh, you have run into because you overthink the situations and you feel like now people are taking your kindness for weakness. But you have to be impeccable with your words and set the boundaries and uh, understand that the memories of the past always cause fear or anger and the excuse me and if living in the future causes anxiety so i trust my own actions and i live in the present moment right so let's let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation i love you guys